Hey gang, GRAPPER14 here. It's Thursday, you know what that means. That means it's another Tech News Weekly, and that means I recap the tech news that I found interesting for you guys. So let's get down to it. This should be a short one because it's mostly going to be about Google. Google this week announced a ton of new products. For example, they announced two new smartphones. Uh, the names escape me at the moment, but it's pretty much a reimagined uh, Nexus 5, if you knew what that was, it was a really popular Nexus, then they came out the Nexus 6, and they're like, this is too big, yada yada. So this is pretty much an upgraded of that, and they came out with a sequel to the Nexus 6, supposed to be more premium, better quality. Google also announced a new tablet called the Chromebook, uh, not the Chromebook, excuse me, it's called the Pixel C for convertible, I believe is what it stands for. And it's an Android tablet with the same materials of the Chromebook Pixel, high quality by the way, and it pretty much combines that quality with an Android tablet experience and you know the back it's got the light bar like the Chromebook Pixel all that stuff so it's it's an interesting take uh, reviews or uh, first impressions of it haven't been so great they're saying it's a little weird and it's a little expensive you know it's 10 inches stuff like that just there's stuff like that but I'm interested by it I won't be trading my Chromebook in for that anytime soon I love uh, what they did with Chrome OS but it's an interesting take we'll see how it pans out Another Google exciting thing that happened in the news is the new <coughs> Chromecast, which is awesome. I love the Chromecast. I Okay, let's see. At my grandma's house, we have a Chromecast. At my other grandparents' house, we have a Chromecast. At my parents' house, we have a Chromecast. Everywhere we go, we have a Chromecast in the TV because we just use it that much. Actually, I think at my parents' house, there's two, uh, but... It's just really a great little tool for 35 bucks. Especially when you bought it originally, they gave you a free Netflix subscription for like three or f months or so, so that was awesome. So the new one was announced today, same price and everything, does all the same stuff with a 1080p output, so it's got upgraded uh, image quality and a new design and stuff like that and better Wi-Fi capabilities. So it's pretty much the same thing. It looks different, of course. It's more of a hockey puck design. People are saying it's circular. But the other big news about the Chromecast is the came out the Chromecast Audio, which pretty much is you can turn any set of old speakers you have. I was pointing and I didn't see any speakers in my apartment. You can put any set of old speakers, plug in the Chromecast Audio into the back of it, and cast audio to the Chromecast Audio. So it makes any speakers upgraded to the new thing, you know, kind of. So you can cast your Google Music, you know, maybe YouTube. I, I don't know how that would work. Uh, but that's pretty cool, and I'm interested in that, even though it's the same price, $35. So, you know, it's, it's, yeah, I don't know if that's worth it for everybody. But if you got a really nice set of speakers and you want to do that, there's a great way to do that. <clears throat> Next up on the agenda is that Skype announced real-time translations. This is really cool. So now, every time you're on Skype, you have a little option to turn on real-time translating which is pretty much if I'm talking to you right now and you don't understand English, and instead it'll be translating in the corner the language to something else. So I actually, I don't know, I've never tested it out, if it translates it like in text form or if it translates it in audio. So like what you hear will be in your language or whatever language you prefer the setting to. So I don't know if that's how it works. But that's a really cool feature nonetheless, so it connects more people from around the world. Great on you, Microsoft, uh, because not everyone speaks into English. Not even me. I don't speak English very well, obviously. Uh, <laughs> and last but not least, you have to mention Facebook because, hey, it's all the kids are doing nowadays. There's Snapchats and Twitterings and, yeah. So, anyways, awesome news with Facebook is that they are finally updating your user profile because they've messed with the news feed forever and you're like, okay, we're done with that. Let's focus on ruining your user profile. I'm kidding. I really like the changes that are coming to the user profile. They're going to have a seven second GIF, or excuse me, I pronounced that wrong, GIF. And it's going to play of your face or any video you set, which will be interesting. So now when people go to your profile, they have a, they can see a little clip of your face or whatever you have there, your dog jumping in your profile picture instead. So that's really cool. I like that. Uh, aesthetics, aesthetics. Another cool thing is that you can change the profile picture temporarily. And I heard somewhere, so you can set a time limit, like, if I post a picture of myself with like this on my finger going like that, you can tell it to last, I think, a day or seven days or a month, and then it goes away. So uh, one person suggested if you have a sports team that's playing on a, on a certain day next week, you can take a picture of yourself in the sports jersey and then set it to only go for that one day of the game 
or something like that. I don't know if you can set it reoccurring like every game date, which would be really cool, but there's something like that, you know, so you can have sit for profile pictures if you're on vacation maybe, and you want one of you at the vacation to switch back to your business type one. So that, that's a little interesting. They're also changing the um, layout of the profile. So the about sections are switched. You have a little bio now at the top. More, It's more accessible. If you don't know the person, you can just summarize their information a little bit quicker. So that's all the Facebook news, Google news, Skype news, Amazon news. Uh, oh, I didn't say the Amazon news, did I? Amazon did something that's not very cool. Amazon has the Fire TV, which is what they're using to compete with the Apple TV and the Chromecast. Great, right? Competition, you know, build a market, yada, yada. But Amazon did something that's not very uh, cool kid-esque. What they did is... They are banning sales of Chromecasts and Apple TVs on their channel. Now, if I remember correctly, you cannot directly buy a app, an Apple TV on their website, but people through third parties. So Amazon's pretty much saying, nope, nope, nope. The only one you can buy on our website is the Amazon Fire TV and Fire Stick. So they're like, if you're going to buy it, you're going to have to buy these. So they're pretty much, you know, saying, all right, all right. You know, since they're doing so successful with their Googles and their Apples, you can't do that on our website, too, so we'll make ourselves even more successful this way. It's really flawed philosophy, and I think it would anger more people than it would make, you know, them like, oh, you know, I don't see a Chromecast, I'm just going to go with the Amazon TV. That doesn't really make any sense, but I don't know. I mean, people can just go to Best Buy instead and say, oh, all three are here, I can get one of these. Amazon, I really like you, but this move doesn't seem so Amazon-esque, or it actually probably seems really Amazon-esque, but whatever. Anyways, guys, this has been Tech News Weekly Episode 3. Is it 4 because there's a pencil there? Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys learned something new. I know this one was kind of off the cuff. Honestly, I completely forgot about it. I was uh, leaving the apartment. And I was like, oh, before I leave, I probably should record this because I won't have a chance to later. So, yeah. Anyways, hopefully next week's will be a little more informational. Hopefully you'll learn more from there. Check out all my, you know, new videos I've been uploading, stuff like that. I have a new What's in the Box going up with my coin wallet. Secret, you know. <laughs> That's really cool. I love that. Also, check out my new channel, Neon Ghost Gaming. We finally have an intro. We finally have a video of us explaining what the channel is. And even cooler, I finally have some gameplay footage, which turned out horrible because my microphone wasn't plugged in correctly, so it's screeching the whole time. That may be gone by the time you watch this, but anyways, I hope you guys had a great time watching this. Like I said, I'll see you in the next video. GMF14, signing out.